In this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at the different types of charts and how you can implement them in your technical analysis strategy. Now the first thing to do is go up to the tab right here and click on this little down arrow that says bars style. And it brings up a list. You've got bars, candles, hollow candles, Heiken Ashi, line, and area. For the purposes of this tutorial and also following what's most popular, I'm only going to focus on bars, candles, and area. So let's start with the bars chart. Just click on bars and you can see what happens is it pulls up these bars and they all have these little nubs. Now in each bar, let me zoom in a little bit on this, each bar has a nub to the left and a nub to the right followed by a long body. Now the length of the body is where that particular crypto traded throughout the time period interval. In this case it's the one day interval. So this is one day of trading in Bitcoin versus the US dollar. The left side is where the price opened that day. The right side is where the price closed. And if you look at this day on this candle, the price opened lower than it closed and that's why it's a green candle. This one's red because the price opened higher than it closed. And sometimes you'll see successive down days and over here you'll see successive up days and I'm going to talk about that a little more when we discuss trends. Bar charts are very popular but I don't use them. My preference is using candle charts because I think they're a little more descriptive and you can look at different types of candles. Now the way to read a candle chart is that the bottom left corner on our green candle is your open. The top right corner of a green candle is your close. And the opposite is true for a red candle. If you're looking at a red candle, the open is the top left and the close is the top right. Now the wicks at the top and bottom of these candles indicate where the crypto traded given that time period. Again, this is a one day time period. So in one day, the price of Bitcoin versus the US dollar on this green candle went from 78.74 all the way up to this price level, 87.94. And we know because it's a green candle that it opened lower than it closed. This was an up day. And candles actually are a little more informative visually because you can see these big body candles. These are big up days or these big red candles they display big down days because it's easy to see that the price of the crypto actually close at the bottom of the range or close at the top of the range and that indicates that the trend whether it be up or down is stronger so the last kind of chart that you want to be aware of is the area chart now I like to use the area chart when I'm looking at something over a longer time frame. So instead of a one day chart of Bitcoin, let's look at the weekly chart. So this is the one week chart and it gives me a better indicator of where Bitcoin went over time. I don't really care on the one week chart where things open and close on any particular week, but it gives me a better sense of what the trend looks like and it's a little more illustrative of that over the longer period if you're using an area chart. So let's go back to the candles again and let's look at different time frames. So again, this is a one week chart using candles and you can see how the Bitcoin market has been in a strong uptrend. It's been basically all green candles really since going back to early February and then we can also look at the daily chart which is each candle represents one day in trading again Bitcoin has been in a pretty strong uptrend it's showing more green candles than red candles and then let's look at shorter intervals so for a lot of these cryptos you want to be looking at the four hour chart because this will give you more of a medium term look of what's happening four hours means that you get six candles per 24 hour time period. Now crypto is an interesting market because the markets don't close. It's not like the stock market that's open from 9.30 to four and you have these gaps that happen in the stock market because the stock market closed at four and then maybe there's a gap up or a gap down the next morning. In crypto, there's no gaps because it just continuously trades. There are 
move ups that happen very rapidly but not gaps like you see in the stock market or the forex market for that and if you're looking at something that is a really more of a micro trade if you're perhaps if you're day trading you want to be looking at five minute candles so there you have it those are the different types of time frames and the different style charts that we look at in technical analysis and if you want to see more videos like this check out coinagy.com and the coinagy channel on youtube